Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about what's new in Securite Endpoint Security 7.6 Service Pack 5. First change is on the EPS dashboard. If you are using EPS 7.6 Service Pack 5, you can see the applied service pack information in the top left corner of the dashboard. Another change is that top incident section in the dashboard. Earlier, we used to display only the top 5 incidents here but now the good news is that we will be displaying top 10 incidents from your endpoints. Also we are providing you an option to export the details into a CSV file. Another change in the dashboard is that the consolidated dashboard and manage secondary server tabs will not be visible on the EPS web console dashboard if your master EPS server does not have at least a secondary server installed with it. Let's go to next enhancement in Service Pack 5. Patch management report section now contains additional reports for up to date patch scan failed and patch installation failed endpoints. You can select the appropriate patch status while generating the report. Let me show you some sample report snapshots here. You can see the report for missing patches in the first snapshot. The second one is for the up-to-date patches and the third one is for the installation fail patches. Securite is providing you the option to generate the reports in either PDF or in CSV formats. The first and second snapshots are from PDF reports and the third one is from CSV. Next change comes into web security module. We know from web security section, we can block categories of websites or specific websites as per the requirements. When someone tried to access the blocked websites, we used to display client side alerts. Now, in Service Pack 5 onwards, we will be displaying notifications on the browser as well. See the snapshots. Here, www.gipcl.com is set to block and uh, while accessing that particular website, the browser generated a notification. This is the change that we can find in EPS Service Pack 5 in Web Security module. Let's go to next enhancement. This is a very critical enhancement because this will help many organizations to upgrade their Windows 10 to latest build via Securite patch management feature. Prerequisites. Security endpoint security must be installed and activated. Point number two. Securite patch management must be installed and integrated with Securite EPS console. Point number three. Service pack 5 must be installed on Securite EPS console. Now let's see how we will configure this patch server. Step one. Log on to Securite endpoint security web console. Step 2, go to Admin Settings, Server Patch Management. On the Patch Management page, click the Configure Patch Server tab and select the Patch Server from the list. Then, you can go for Patch Synchronization. So, select the Patch Synchronization tab and click Filters. After that, Windows Patch Synchronization Setting dialog appears. There, go to Categories tab, select Upgrades checkbox, and then click Apply to apply the filter. Once category selection is done successfully, close the Windows Patch Synchronization Settings dialog, and then click Start to run Patch Synchronization. Once patch synchronization is completed successfully, administrator can perform patch scan to Windows 10 operating system and will get the list of upgrades available to older versions of Windows 10 operating systems. Another enhancement in EPS Service Pack 5 is on asset management. When you access client's asset section, you can see a button to download complete asset details. 
Just click on that and continue with yes in the next dialog box. This will ask you to save the consolidated asset management report across all endpoints. So this feature will help all of our customers to get the entire asset information in one single file. We have some enhancements in DLP configuration with EPS Service Pack 5. Now onwards, file classification for fingerprinting can be configured from the policy setting. This feature would help you to classify existing files as confidential or public. Files classified as confidential are treated as sensitive files and any operation to leak is blocked or reported as part of the DLP policy. Also, you can configure optical character recognition from policy settings now to block the leakage of sensitive data through images. This feature is supported on desktop operating systems like Windows Vista Service Pack 2 or Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and above. Also, server operating systems like Windows 2008 Server R2 SP1, 2008 uh, Service Pack 2 and above. Let's come to other enhancements. Endpoint name and IP address details included in SMS notification for virus and ransomware attack. Endpoint IP address details included in IDS, IPS, port scan and DDoS report as well. Local and remote port details are included in firewall report. Finally, enhancement in client deployment method using Active Directory method to support enumeration of large number of objects up to 10,000 in Active Directory while synchronizing the AD. These all are the uh, uh, certain enhancements we have done into our EPS Service Pack 5. We have also added the associated knowledge base article links into the video description box. You can refer to the same to read more on configuration part. Thank you for watching this video.